welcome. I'm Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a fabulous card to show you um, to make a rabbit, well, bunny. Um, but you, for the most part, it's punch art. Um, I did happen to use the word wishes dies because I just don't have anything that's current that says Easter and so I pulled this and used that but you know if you have a stamp that says happy Easter Easter wishes Easter blessings I mean that would be absolutely perfect and you wouldn't have to use a die I also use the playful alphabet for the inside of the O die and the inside of the O die makes a little half inch circle because that's just what I needed. But effectively, I'm pretty sure if you dig in your resources, um, you're going to find that you've got got these items without having to uh, have a die machine. So I'm just going to call this punch art. So I have a piece of basic white cardstock that is 8.5 by 11 that I'm going to fold, fold in half. And then... Let's see, what do I have? I have a piece of, of um, Blushing Bride. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. Blushing Bride that is four by three inches. I think I made this three inches. Yeah. And then a piece of DSP paper that is four by four by two. And so I'm going to kind of glue these on. I'm not going to kind of. I'm going to glue these on. Okay, and there will be a little gap, but guess what? No biggie. We're going to fill that in. Okay, so that gap, not a big deal, because, let's see, let me tell you what my DSP paper is. It's, it's this pretty, pretty paper. Um, it's called Hand Penned Designer Series Paper, and just about any of these floral pieces work. And then I've got one more piece to cover up this gap here, and I've got a three-quarter by four-inch piece from the hand penned, and then I have little half inch strips because I am going to stick out like so. But here's the thing. I'm just using up some cardstock. You could make it four by one inch or you can take two, four half inch pieces and do this with them. I'm just, I'm making use of what I've got on hand. Okay, so I mean here, here's a suggestion for little scrap pieces, these little half inch pieces that we have left over, and you always have millions of them and you don't know what to do with them. They do make for nice layering. Alright, and I'm just going to put this across here, like so. And I got a little goober there. So I'm just going to take my eraser and erase and get rid of that. All right. So we're going to come back to those two items. Next, I'm going to take the heart punch. I'm going to punch out a single heart like that. And then... Oh, shoot. I wonder if I got any smaller pieces. Okay. 
Then I'm gonna punch out two of those ovals because we're gonna make ourselves a little bunny. Okay, I'm gonna glue these together like so, and then we're gonna make our bunny face. But before we get there, I'm gonna take my little bunny nose and I'm gonna put it up there and I'm gonna put that there before we lose some things. I'm going to get a dauber. But I gotta find the dauber. There we go. A couple of those little daubers. I don't use them often, but. Here's one of those instants. All right, so I got a little finger dauber. I'm gonna take my Blushing Bride and I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna daub the inside of my bunny's ears. So we're just gonna give our bunny a little uh, inside ear look. Okay. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna give my little bunny some little pink cheeks. I mean, this is like perfect thing for a dauber. Love the finger daubers. Okay, so now I can glue his little ear on. Or ears, plural. His, hers, theirs. You can kind of see that bunny look, can't you? All right, so the inside of my O, here it is. You could use a little half inch circle punch or a three eighths circle punch. Um, the in bloom dies, one of those round little oval things could work. I mean, don't go out, keep looking through your stuff. I'm sure you can find something. I'm just repurposing something into a something else. All right, let me close that up. And then here comes the less fun portion. We're going to put on little eyes. We're going to draw a line down here, and then we got our whiskers. Okay, just like so. And you got a little bunny. I've been calling it he, but maybe she's a she. And I'm gonna glue her on. Put her right there. And then she just needs a little bow. Ooh, I've got the perfect thing. I'll be right back. All right, I had to go to my ribbon stash, and I've got some of this Blushing Bride. This gold ribbon Blushing Bride. Oops. All right. I want to keep it all the same. squiggle get a tighter bow there we go all right that'll work 
Get a little bow there. Cut that down to size. Cut that down to size. We can glue that down. Uh, or I can glue dot her down. Her little bow. Glue dots, I found them. Okay, liquid glue would work. I just don't have the patience while I'm making a film to wait for it to dry. I'd have to start and stop. Nobody wants to wait. Wait and watch. All right. And the only other thing, like I said, is I've got the Easter and the Easter wishes. So I'm going to tack these down. Okay, over here in the corner, I'm going to glue that down. And I'm going to get my Highland Heather and stamp the word wishes. And these are kind of a matching pair that they work together well. The word dies and, oh, what is the th thingy called? A wish for everything die set or stamp set. So they, they work together. And then there you have it. Isn't she just adorable? As I crashed everything over here on the side. Shh. But look at that. Isn't it cute? So cute. So fun. Okay, quick, simple, easy, not much to it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you would like any of the items I have demonstrated here for you today, uh, you can shop my online store. That link is provided below, along with a shopping list and all the dimensions of the cards. Those are provided down at the bottom. Um, so you have to keep scrolling but that you will find them. In addition to all of that, um, I'd love it if you could give me thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing all right. If you have any questions, you can put that in the comment section and or else you can email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. That should be provided below. Um, also, you could go to my website, bigskycards.com where you could find this bunny card kit um, as a set of four to make a card kit on your own. I mean, so there is all sorts of ways. Everything would come cut, punched, die cut, stamped. Um, bows even come tied for you. Um, you would need to have your own little black marker, but you would have the little pink dots, everything would just be there and you just, you're just raring to go. Um, so yes, um, that is bigskycards.com. That is provided below. And thank you so much for watching and happy stamping. Bye.